I am Dr. Pecker today. I finish both coat racks. In my last episode, I managed to turn the second coat rack post. Now I'll finish them. But just like for the first post, I still have a lot of work to do on both ends. Now I can screw on the legs. To screw them straight, I screw the first one, clamp the post on two L brackets, and screw in the legs. I also have to take care of the hooks on my new post. With all the legs and hooks in place, I can mark their final length, unscrew them, and cut them. Now I can sand all the legs and hooks. Next, I can route a round over on all those nice curved pieces of wood. But I need to be extra careful not to route where the pose will touch them. Then I can make the final sanding with a pneumatic drum. The last thing to do before applying the finish is to sand the flat surfaces. I need to build some sort of support to hold everything in place before I can spray the finish. Next step, I screw the legs and hooks. Then I can clean everything. While cleaning this, I couldn't shake out of my mind that all those curved pieces of wood look like deer antlers. Then I'm ready for the first coat of finish. When I'm done, I leave it to dry for several hours. While the varnish is drying, I use a drum sander to sand both rings thinner. When both of them are at the desired thickness, I sand the wood transition. Look at it now, the wood transition is almost invisible. So now I can route a round over all the way around both rings. Last thing to do is the final sanding. Now that the first coat is dry, I unscrew all the pieces and sand all the legs and hooks. I put the post on the lathe again and lightly send them. I 
after putting it back like it was before, I spray the second coat. I do the same thing for the third coat. When the varnish is dry, I can start to work on the screws caps. With a plug cutter, I cut five walnut plugs. Now that I have some plugs, I need to modify them. I want a small dome on the tip of each one. To do so, I build a jig so I'll be able to turn them. When the block is round, I insert one plug and form it. Those are my first five plugs. I'm happy with the result, but five plugs is far from enough. I cut 55 more. And turn them. After a while, I become faster at turning them. Now that I have all the plugs, I can start to work on the finials. I begin by cutting the shape of the top of my post on the X-carve. I'm happy, it's perfect. But I have one small problem. I lost the bearing of the cutter I intended to use. So I cut a bigger pattern and I'll use a cullet and a straight bit to cut the shape. My problems are not over yet. The hole of my palm rotter plate is too big for a cullet. I bring my computer in my shop, draw a new base plate, which can accept a cullet and let the X-carve take care of the rest. When it's done, I screw the router plate on the plexiglass and cut it. Then I take a nice piece of walnut and cut two blocks out of it. Then I drill a shallow hole in their middle. I stick my pattern on top of this and use a router to clean the rest of the wood. Next, I can clean the spot I missed with a chisel. Then I can try a post. It's a success. To help burning both finials, I cut their corners. Then I just need to check that on the lathe and turn the shape I want. Here it is. I just need to do the same thing for the second one. 
Now with the finials turned, I can figure out the length of both posts and cut them. I also cut the bottom of the posts. Now I can reassemble it all over again. Okay, the legs and hooks are in place. I still need to install the rings. The first thing I do is to make sure the ring is held in place directly in the middle. Then I can drill and screw them in place. The last thing to do is to push the plugs in place. I really need some help to drive those plugs in place. For most of them, I use a clamp to drive them. All done. For my personal taste, this is my favorite project yet in my new shop. It's probably because I had the chance to meet Peter in person. One thing for sure, this was not a weekend project. All this took me three weeks to complete. But at least now, I have two nice racks to hang my coat inside the shop and inside the house. I hope you like this project as much as I enjoyed making it. And see you soon on The Woodpecker. Bye.